Hey, this is Anthony from Zoltv. We can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Guide 12 volt heated jacket liner available at Revzilla.com. To my left, new for 2016, this is the latest iteration of the Guide 12 volt heated jacket liner. Now, in years past, we saw a more destination orientation of these heated jacket liners. They had pockets, they had knit cuffs, they had knit collars, they were more stylish, meant to be worn off the bike. No mas. Guide has said this is meant to be a base or mid layer to carry the gerbing heated microwire technology that goes zero to heat in under three seconds and be durable and flexible, much better than copper wiring. It is meant to give you seven panels of heat. One, two, collar, both sleeves, as well as two in the back. So full heat throughout and use the latest technology. The new 12 volt heated jacket liner for 2016 will connect to the wired controller, the dual controller, the wireless controller. It'll do the Bluetooth controller. It has the pockets to connect to your gloves and connect to your pants. Again, fully flexible, but it is meant to go under your jacket, not to be worn hanging out at the bar, the campsite, taking batting practice with Lenny Dykstra. None of that doesn't work. Now, if you think about sizing, the sizing is consistent with what we've seen from Guide or Gerbing in the past. Hive is Brian to my left, sporting his newly found mullet, six foot. 195, 42 inch chest, you're just loving me today. He's wearing a size medium regular. That means it's medium for the chest and it's regular in the sleeve length. Size is extra small through 3X and small through XL comes with the longer sleeve option, giving you two extra inches. Now I will say, based on his measurements, if you look at the size chart, it would actually put him in a large regular. With guide, you go down a size. So again, looking at the size chart, it would say he'd be a large, we put him in a medium and you could see, it has plenty of room. It's not tight in the shoulders, not tight in the chest, not tight in the arms. He even has room if Hybiz Brian ever goes full on retired baseball player and you get that full big gut, you're gonna be good to go as well. Keep that in mind, go a size down. Now remember, we are gonna ship for free over 39 bucks. If you have questions, you can ask us. And before I work through some of the other nuances and changes here on these 12 volt heated jacket liner, click our logo, subscribe to us at Revzilla TV, leave your comments, your questions, and your feedback and whether you should call it guide or guide, we're not sure. Now, moving into the jacket, micro ripstop, which again, they're carrying over, I like it. Micro ripstop means that if you puncture it and it begins to run, the ripstop, those tiny encapsulated areas with the stitching, keep it from running. This is the technology from the outdoor world that's been around forever, keeping nylon from continuing to tear. If we look at it, beefed up zipper pulls, they're going to have a rubberized pull that's easy to find with a gloved hand, and I actually really like the collar. So again, the collar's a little higher now, the collar's not going to be knit. It has a nice micro fleece on the inside, soft against your skin. Even the branding's been subtle. This is taking something that was old school, making it more contemporary and new school, and making it not do anything but what it's supposed to do, which being a heated mid-layer, letting you ride all winter long into the depths. Remember, when you put somebody on a bike at 60 miles an hour, take the ambient air temperature, back it up. 20 degrees, so if it's 60 out, it's really like riding in 40 degree weather. If it's 40 out, you're riding when it's 20. And again, there's great technical shells out there, but heated gear allows you to be temp neutral, not think about anything regarding the heat to your body, and that equals safety and comfort. If we look at some of the other features here, they've ditched the, they've ditched the pockets, they've ditched the knitted cuffs, it's now just a basic elasticated cuff, and if I have his Brian goes like that, you're gonna see, this is where you would connect your gloves. So it tucks away, but that's your glove connector, so if you buy a pair of guide heated gloves, you now just you daisy chain them in, change the fuse out on the controller. Again, there are instructions on how to do that. It's very simple. You're just matching the amperage, and then you're going to be able to ride with full heat. It also connects to the pants. Turn and face away from me there, HVB. No branding on the side, no protective qualities. There's going to be a panel of heat. That's it. Turn backwards for me. If we look at the back, it does have a bit of a drop seat to it, which is nice depending on how you ride in your body position. And remember, two panels of heat in the back, zero to heat in th under three seconds. Remember, microwire is tiny bundles of stainless steel wire. They, go, they heat up faster, they're more flexible. Over time, copper wire, a single strand, it will break. Stainless steel is a little bit more flexible, a little bit more nimble. It's going to hold up in the longer run. Remember, we did talk about heat in the collar. That's actually pretty sweet. A lot of times heated gear doesn't have heat in the collar. Here on the 12 volt heated jacket liner from Guide, powered by Gerbing, you're getting that extra panel, which in my opinion is a nice upgrade. Come around to the front for me there, big dog. As you turn, open it up, 
and notice there was a zipper from the bottom, so you're able to break it at the bottom. Here's your control panel. And remember, there's a thermo gauge in this now. So now you have the ability when it gets too hot that it's gonna decouple with that thermo gauge. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna be able to regulate the, te the temperature so you're not just gonna overheat. If we open this up, you're gonna see a handful of wires. This is where you would connect your controller. So remember, there's a wireless controller, a wired controller, a dual switch controller that allows you to control the jacket and the pants or the jacket and the gloves independently. And then you also have this connector which goes into the wireless controller, the Bluetooth controller that activates the set it and forget it thermo gauge. So what you have the ability to do with the Bluetooth controller that you buy separately is set the Fahrenheit degree of what you want the internal jacket to be and you're just gonna set it at 78 degrees and it's ultimately gonna keep you right at 78 degrees. And I wanna show one more thing here. If we open this up, you're gonna see the way the panels are stitched in. On the previous version, it was black with a red interior. It just popped out. Now it's just simply sewn in. That's where your heat's gonna go, right on the inside of this Napoleon pocket here. And that would be on both sides as well. So again, very simply stated. Don't have a lot of grapes here. So we have great stock and availability moving to the future because I think that guy did a great job taking that next iteration. Remember, it also comes in a vest and all you're really losing is going to be the sleeves. So it's five panels in the vest, same connectivity. And keep in mind, you're going to pair this with pants. You're going to pair it with gloves. A lot of flexibility. Most guys start with a 12 volt heated jacket liner and then you branch off from there. The next step in your journey is to click the info button on your desktop or your mobile device. Read other rider reviews at revzilla.com of what other hardcore riders riding into the winter are saying about the new 2016 version of the 12 volt heated jacket liner. You can also check out Guide's seven volt collection, which is all going to be powered by battery. This guys powered by your motorcycle. And we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at revzilla.com or 877 Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Subscribe to me on the YouTube. I'm not doing this for my health. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.